Hi everyone, uh, this time we are going to talk about Vertex AI, but let's recall what we did uh, in the previous lesson. So we trained a model in a collab notebook and let's have it here. So the pipeline is a Python object that has predict method. And uh, it's called pipeline because we use the scikit-learn pipeline, which combines both feature preprocessing and inference, which is very convenient because if we want to serialize the model, we just need to serialize one object. But how it's integrated in Vertex AI? Uh, in Vertex AI, we have a model registry. Model registry is a type of storage uh, that can keep models and their versions. Let's say we have a model called dwarf, that's what we trained before, and we can have multiple versions, version one, version two, three, and four. So this is the most recent one. So we want to somehow put it uh, in a model as a version and can use in the different parts of Vertex AI. Uh, what we also have in the like overall system, uh, we'll have Vertex AI pipeline uh, that will have some steps. So the first step will be read. When we read data, input data, from some storage, let's say there's a SQL. Um, the next step would be prediction step. In prediction step, we take uh, the model and run the inference using this model and the data from the reading step. And it will spit out the output Probably we'll save it somewhere. Uh, so the last step, right, will write the data back to the storage. So it can be the SQL storage or any other storage like DynamoDB or BigQuery or MongoDB. This is what we are going to do in our tutorial. But there are the other ways to use a Vertex AI model. And uh, first we can create a real-time endpoint. Uh, and this endpoint will be created by Vertex AI. Uh, and we can attach a model to it. So how it works, inside it creates a pod in Kubernetes. And inside Kubernetes, of course, it's a Docker container. And the endpoint, uh, which is available for the other services, will forward uh, the inference calls into this Docker container. And it's our model inside. But the interface of communicating between endpoint and the model is a web server. So uh, Vertex AI assumes that it supports some HTTP protocols. And practically, it's not just any HTTP protocol, it's an open inference format. Specifically, if you want to build a container that supports real-time inference, uh, you need a server inside. And uh, usually it's done with KaiSurf, a lightweight server in Python that can handle the open inference format for you. And you only care about how to do the inference inside the server. Um, one more, we can also have a batch prediction job. So batch prediction job, it's like an entity inside Vertex AI. So you can see it in a web interface. And it also can, can use our model from model registry. And it also uses uh, KaiSurf format for the inference. So one, one Docker container can potentially work with both endpoint and batch prediction. However, I don't recommend using batch predictions because first of all, it's very hard to troubleshoot. And secondly, we have the pipeline anyway for bad jobs. So it's way more reliable 
easier to troubleshoot and more powerful because you can connect it to the other steps uh, like reading or writing back to Mongo or whatever you decide. <clears throat> now let's go through what's inside each of the versions. So first of all, uh, it's artifacts. Artifacts are things that we want to serialize and pass. In our case, it would be just one file uh, serialized pipeline. And it will be in the format uh, job leap or pickle. So it will be a pipeline job leap. <clears throat> Potentially, we can have a Python module as artifacts as well, because sometimes we want like a very tricky preprocessing happening or the other logic encoded right in the model version. In our case, it just uh, preprocessing and inference in one object, so we don't need to do that. Secondly, it's a Docker image. Docker image is uh, necessary only if you're going to run it using uh, inference endpoint for just pipeline. It doesn't matter because you download the model uh, as serialized object and you don't care what Docker image was assigned. However, if you want to have a real-time inference, it's very important uh, to attach the correct one because you want it to contain the uh, KSORF to communicate between Vertex AI and your model. Uh, and different permissions and stuff. If you want to deploy the model manually, you first need to create a subfolder in a storage bucket. Let's call our storage bucket model bucket and create a subfolder called dwarf. And for additional clarity, we can even create one more subfolder which corresponds to model version, which is four. It's not required to do, but let's make it meaningful. And we copy the serialized object in job leap format. It's gonna be pipeline dot job lib. So when we create a model version, we pass this path into model version. The other parameter is a Docker image, and we can just use a default one because we don't care about real-time inference. Once the model is created we can use it uh, in our pipeline, we can download it and do the batch inference in our prediction step. To simplify that process, we built in ShiftSmart a special library called Orient Express. And it's available in the pip, so you can install it using pip install. Let's use Orient Express to upload our model into Vertex AI model registry. So inside the club notebook where we train the model, uh, let's, let's import uh, Orient Express library and then we initialize the wrapper. The wrapper, the first parameter is the model that we just trained. The second one is a model name that we want it to be available in the model registry. The project name is a name of the project in uh, Google Cloud. And uh, the region is the region where we want this model to be available. And the last one is a bucket where uh, Orient Express will temporarily save pipeline.joplib artifact. So we need to have access to this bucket. Using the model inside the pipeline is very similar, but this time the code is uh, executed inside the pipeline component. The first step, we import Orient Express. The second one, we initialize the wrapper, but this time we don't have this model, so we pass the model name that we specified before. It's highly recommended to pin to the concrete version. In our case, it's four, because if we do not pin, it will just use the most recent one. Next time we deploy the model, uh, without pinning, it will just uh, switch to it. And it's not something we usually want. Uh, 
project name in uh, Google Cloud. And this is the region where the model should be available. So once we perform local predict, it will first download the model from model registry and then do the inference. And also it will cache the model. So next consequent calls will be performed. So this is it. Let me know if you have any questions. And next time we'll review how to build the pipeline in Vertex AI. Bye.